Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ree's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making blueberry buttermilk pancakes, a personal favourite and perfect for Sunday morning brunch or any special occasion. So let's get right into our ingredients. We have bicarbonate of soda, salt, butter, eggs, the star ingredient blueberries, plain flour and buttermilk. So the first step is to separate our eggs, which I've done. And now we're just going to beat up our egg yolks until they're thick and creamy. Now the star ingredient of these pancakes is definitely buttermilk. Buttermilk is a byproduct made from when you churn cream into butter. It's thicker than regular milk or a bit more viscous. It's low in fat because all the fat's gone into the butter and it's high in lactic acid, which is the star ingredient, which when we put it with our bicarb of soda, will react and create the light and fluffiness of these pancakes. So we're just going to add into our egg mixture the butter that I've melted and the buttermilk. So now we're up to adding our dry ingredients. So I'll pop the flour right into my sifter and we'll also be adding the bicarb and the salt. Right. So now we just fold this through gently back on our mixer. Now it's time to whisk our egg whites. Making sure, of course, that your bowl is really clean and dry. Right. And we want really soft peaks. So just checking that now. Yep, it's holding the peak from where the whisk was sitting in the bowl. And you can see that it's holding on the whisk as well. Right, so now we're up to the almost last step, which is just folding our beautiful egg whites. Just slide in and gently fold them into our batter. Now this is not a smooth batter, but don't worry, you won't get lumps of flour. It's just the way the batter is, and that looks done. So now it's time to start cooking our pancakes. Now you can use an on stove, but I've always used my electric fry pan for this. I get more in at the same time. So just a little bit of butter. Then about a quarter of a cup of mixture is all that you need for each one. And we let these cook until we start to see bubbles appearing on the top, a little bit like what a crumpet looks like. So these are getting close to flip. Now in a regular pancake that's not quite so thick, you'll get lots of holes like on the top of a crumpet. But on here, if you look really closely, you can see that I'm starting to get these holes now on the side. I'm not gonna wait till it gets all over because otherwise I'll just burn the, my bottom of my pancakes. All right, so now we can add a generous number of blueberries to each one. And then flip. So these only take another minute or so on this side. Just perfect. And so now we can pop these on a plate in the oven on low to keep warm while we finish cooking all the rest. So as always, the best bit is in the eating. So with a drizzle of real maple syrup, a spoonful of yogurt, a sprinkling of toasted almonds, now it's time for breakfast. Mm. The pancakes light and fluffy. The blueberries just pop in your mouth. So until next time everyone, ciao.